Welcome back guys this is Srikant today we are going to talk about the next thing in the uh, in the SSS cube okay so last video we talked about uh, how to uh, how to how to create the project with SSS cube then how to deploy it on the server and then we also tried to understand how to query the MDX right now let's let's go to the cube so this is a cube and this is the browser okay if I want to simply see the uh major like fact for example so just simply click on this execute we'll see that one and we can also see the mdx query here right now can i see this uh, mdx or the sss cube in excel yeah you can so here we have the option called analyze in excel so simply click on that enable it now here we can see few options like the summation summation means all the majors will come here so these are the majors which we have so it will be shown under the symbol like summations and these are the two dimension which we have now these are all the attribute attribute means a member so simply if i want to see some kind of two level thing let's say color and the product name so every time basically i need to drag and drop and then only i can see that but is there any way so directly i can just simply drag and drop and so all this kind of structure structure thing would appear yes there is a thing and that thing can be achieved with the help of the hierarchy so hierarchy always be related with the dimension right so simply click on the dimensions here you can see the middle plane called as a hierarchy now i'm going to create one hierarchy color and the product name simple right so this is the important thing and if i click on that relationship so i can see the relationship is uh, has been created automatically that's fine so simply see us save it and it will ask you the will also be save cube so the electric process yeah i want to save this one then click this one right and just go to the sss cube once again now if you come here you you can see here uh there is no hierarchy written here so what you need to do is simply uh, refresh it so when you do refresh also it is not coming it means you need to process the cube so there is a symbol of processing um, just process it correct and do a full process here it will be processed once again and click on close 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 yeah now if you'll come back here and if you'll simply do a refresh so this is a refresh one now if you go to the respective dimension you can see the hierarchy right now let's open this in our excel once again enable now here let's see the change see uh, these are the majors which are showing in this one now this hierarchy thing we just have created it is coming under this right and the fields which we are showing there now those fields are moved to somewhere okay as because the excel has identified the hierarchy is there it means that you only need to focus on this one now let's drag and drop this hierarchy in the row level so see the two level grouping has automatically been created likewise you can create any number of grouping so that, but that it should be a meaningful relationship then it makes sense right okay now this is called as the hierarchy now we have just uh, deployed on the server so let's see how does it looks like on the server right so just try to reconnect this is my ssas just connect databases and this is my first cube demo new query and the mdx now see now i can see the structure here if i come here see i yeah, here also i have the hierarchy correct <coughs> right so this is a simple way to create the hierarchy now you may have question can i create uh, one more hierarchy yeah you can so simply let's say i'm going to create the hierarchy between the product and the ship location okay three hierarchy basically this is hierarchy or uh, let's rename like this one yeah so this is high h1 this is h2 and let's say this is h3 okay now save this one okay i want to make this changes to the cube close it this is the cube you have go to the browser 
and just refresh it and see those changes are appearing here or not dimension nothing right so reprocess the queue once again right then run it close it close it go to the ssms close it just start from the scratch just ssrs okay sss okay then just go to your respective database right click and you query mdx now expand this see h1 h2 h3 are coming here likewise you can do that and also if you want to see it in excel how can you do that simply click on a plus symbol so enable it and if you want to see the connection so simply go to the data and uh, connection see here you can see the last refresh time of the server so all those things and just if you want to see more detail just double click on that so refresh every so you need to set the timing and everything here correct and which queue basically it is pointing so you can see in the definition it is pointing to data warehouse queue right okay fine so i can use this one h1 then h2 right simple correct all the hierarchy will appear here so hope you guys understood and enjoyed our video related with adding the uh, hierarchy in the SSAS cube and thanks for watching this video. Have a great day ahead.